We are getting ready to reorganize and get started for the next um, session coming up. And I anticipate it's going to be a very interesting year. Um, with everything that's gone on nationally and with Obamacare obviously going to be in place, with taxes going up, um, I'm sure you see every day how many businesses are cutting back and, and closing and everything else. So obviously that affects the income in our state and our unemployment rate. So I have a feeling it's going to be a real battle this year for money and the budget. Every year it's a battle and everybody wants their part and um, but this year I think it's going to be much worse than we've had in a very long time and I haven't seen numbers, I haven't heard anything yet, but I anticipate that the revenue is going to be way down and once again we're going to be battling, you know, funding education, funding, fund, funding um, unemployment benefits, which had dug us into such a deep hole the last couple of years and we were finally kind of being able to pay down a little bit because we had to borrow a bunch of money from the federal government to even cover all our unemployment benefits. So I have a feeling that's going to be a great struggle again. And unfortunately when that happens then the businesses are taxed even greater rate to cover that. So, it, you know, I'm not real optimistic about what this year is going to hold and um, we're just going to have to plow through it. I think tough decisions are going to have to be made. And, you know, some people are afraid to do that. There's a lot of people down there that, you know, they just got reelected and they're already thinking about the next election mm -hmm. and what's going to happen to them. And so they're um, going to do whatever they think everybody's going to be happy with, but that's not always the best thing. So um, I ask for your prayer um, as we go down there and make those decisions. And, um, Hopefully we can do them and be fair about it, and, but I think everybody's going to be pinched. And education always seems to scream the loudest, although I do not believe that money solves all problems. And we have uh, Sunny Wygan here who I think she deserves a round of applause yes. for Sunny. Yes. Absolutely. She ran a good campaign, but it was quite a challenge. She was up against quite a um, force out there. but. Um, they tend to scream the loudest and want the money and, you know, teachers shouldn't get pay cuts, teachers shouldn't, you know, students should continue to have more money, but it, it hasn't improved us one little bit and I think we've got to start coming up with some new ideas and a better way to do it. Um, and I think we can and we're very capable of it, but we have to have the will to do it and maybe with no money it'll force us to do that a little bit. Um, the other big issue I guess you all have been reading about is the um, everybody's tax information being hacked and um, that's been the big thing we've been dealing with the last month or so. And I do want to encourage all of you, if you haven't signed up for any kind of protection, you've got to do it. Um, it was hacked from somebody internationally. They're still investigating to try to see who and what, but um, they've got all your information that's on your tax return and if you paid with a check or you paid with a debit card or credit card they've got that information as well so please it's very simple I did it um, actually last week it is retroactive so it's not you know you're okay if you haven't done it yet but this we're introducing a fetal pain bill this year and it um, has scientific evidence that a fetus an unborn child feels pain at 20 weeks. If they were to have to operate on it or whatever, they would give it anesthesia and they've been able to test and see. And right now, according to federal law, you can have an abortion clear up till birth, really, or even life birth. Um, this bill has been passed in several states already and has not been challenged because they're kind of afraid of challenging it. They may lose. So nobody's challenged it yet. But it says as of 20 weeks, it feels pain you can't abort. So we are going to try to push that through and I don't see how anybody cannot vote for that. I mean if you know a child is feeling pain, how can you vote for it? So we're going to introduce that. Um, I expect us to get it out of subcommittee because hopefully I'm going to be on that subcommittee and we can move it forward. We have the new chairman of the Judiciary Committee that is very pro-life and um, so we hope to move that along and at least pull back to 20 weeks. You know, they can't have an abortion after 20 weeks. So, you know, step in the right direction. We always hope that we get all the way, but it's um, moving the ball down the field sometime. Um, 
you know, we ended the year last year. The House had gone through the entire calendar, passed everything on our desk. They still had 85 pages worth of bills they hadn't touched yet, which is so frustrating because we worked hard to get them to them. You know, you get them through all these committees and um, work. I had one that I had worked on for months with some attorneys and got it through the House, got it through the Senate, got it through all the committees. They were voting on the floor. The governor came in to do a presentation for somebody retiring and they stopped in the middle of the vote and they never went back to it and that was the last day to pass the bill and it died. So I had to start all over again this year, going through all the subcommittees, committees, the House, subcommittee, committee, Senate, you know, all over again. And but there was the bill? This one was allowing um, banks to finalize uh, closing on a house, everything online. They have everything but the final signature paperwork mm -hmm. didn't get included somehow when they passed it several years ago. So all Bank of America, all the big banks are like, you know, we need this. They were begging, begging, begging for it. And no, no problem. Got it all through and mm -hmm. dead. 